this looks like a totally rock solid uh, diagnostic chart looking for Cushing syndrome. They call it an algorithm. They go through it step by step and whatever the results are will guide the doctor in a certain direction is what it's all about. Um, and it calls for uh, two 24-hour urine cortisol. Um, and they're looking for high results in that. Overnight, one milligram dexamethasone suppression test. And if, you're a, uh, if you don't suppress, it's indicative of Cushing's. Uh, late night salivary cortisol uh, times two. And I'll just quickly say that I had two of them and it showed absolutely nothing. So, but it was probably done too early before I was having the power surge of cortisol. So, um, you know, that's at your doctor's discretion. And, um, but anyway, I, it, it didn't do a thing for my diagnosis. Okay, 48 hour, two milligram dexamethasone suppression test. And this is looking for another cause other outside of the pituitary and adrenal, like you have an ACTH producing tumor. Um, that's why they would do that. I never had that test. And this is, these. this outline is if you're going in, um, not knowing the cause whatsoever of Cushing's. I had an adrenal adenoma, so the workup was a little bit different and they would, and if they identify an adrenal issue, you know, on the next slide, I'll get into that a little bit further. Um, and then they are, they perform a, a DEX, CRH, midnight cortisol in some cases. I'm not familiar with that. Um, uh, there is a CRH suppression test, I believe, or STEM test. I'm not sure which it is, but it is um, on the next slide. I'll, it'll show that it helps identify the location of the tumor, especially if it's outside the pituitary and adrenal. And then it goes from there, you know, and then they measure ACTH and that would if it's high, um, they're going to start imaging the pituitary gland. If it's low, they're going to be imaging the um, adrenal gland. Um, and, the, you know, it just takes a good doctor knowing what they're doing. And these, this is really an excellent outline to get diagnosed. Okay, a little more on the CRH testing. Um, this is test is administered to distinguish between an ectopic source of ACTH or whether it's a pituitary source. Um, they administer the CRH and that's like the pharmaceutical form of corticotrophic releasing hormone. That's a hypothalamic hormone that signals your pituitary to make ACTH, which signals your adrenals to make cortisol. Anyway, as you can see, they want to differentiate between an ectopic source and a pituitary source of a person's problem. And um, as you can see, the orange line, it's pretty much a straight line. Um, the pituitary dependent disease would start at a lower number and that would in, increase the ACTH. So uh, that's why it's done to differentiate the two sources of uh, the cortisol problem. For myself, I had what they call an incidentaloma. I had a CT scan for appendicitis and that's when the adrenal adenoma showed up. So the workup's a little bit different. They have to rule out other conditions of the adrenal gland. Um, they do uh, they do the 24-hour urine, etc. They also test the testosterone and DHEA-S. And I, I believe that's looking, you know, for um, like an issue with my um, sex organs. 
you know, and that could, you know, high testosterone and DHEA could be indicative of PCOS. They also check the uh, fight or flight hormones, and that would, um, those could run high from what they call a pheochromocytoma, and they have to rule that out for sure because they have to premedicate you for surgery. And then an aldosterone uh, producing tumor, they also need to rule out. Um, and in the imaging, um, size does matter. Um, anything f uh, from four c centimeters or larger, you get in the realm of more possibilities for cancer. So, you know, that's, they will want to take that out, whether it's producing or not. And there are adrenal adenomas that just are, they don't produce hormones. So that's something that they would want to monitor, um, you know, maybe to start with for the, you know, every few months. Uh, they want to see if there's changes in the size, so there would be further um, imaging studies and that. Um, and then, you know, it's of the flow chart like the other one. If you're showing high cortisol, you know, they're going to test the ACTH in that to pin it down that this is a Cushing's adenoma, and then you get referred um, to a surgeon. Yeah, yeah.